Hi, I'm Sam from Portainer. In this video, I'll walk you through how to view or export container logs using Portainer. For this tutorial, I have Portainer installed on a Docker environment and agents on a Kubernetes cluster and a Swarm cluster. So I can manage them all on a single pane of glass using Portainer. I'll show you how to get container logs for each of these environments then I'll step through the different options available on the logs page. First up, what are container logs? Any message that a container sends to standard output or standard error is collected then passed on to a logging driver. Default is the JSON file logging driver and is the only driver that works with your docker log command um, in docker CLI. To read these logs using docker CLI, you'd have to find the name or ID of the container by running a, your docker ps command. Then you have to run the docker logs container name or ID to actually get to these logs. With Portainer, you can get to the same logs using an intuitive GUI. To show you, first I'll go into my docker environment. Click on the containers menu item to list all the containers that are either running or stopped. And you can see under quick actions, there are several options. The first one is the logs icon. So I'll click on the logs to see the logs for that container right here. This output is the same as your Docker logs for that container using Docker CLI. When it comes to a swarm cluster, you have a another option to view logs. You can view logs for services as, as well as containers. To show you, I'll go into my swarm cluster and I'll click on containers and you can see all the containers uh, as before. And to get logs for a container, you click on the logs button and you can see the logs for that container. To view the logs for services, you go onto the services menu item to list all the services. Then you can click on any service that you want to get logs for. And you can right here, there's a service logs button that you can click on, which will give you the service logs. So this includes all the containers that are running under that service. So this output is basically same as your docker CLI command, which is docker service logs and the service name. And similarly, to get uh, logs for a pod and the container inside the pod in a Kubernetes cluster, um, you'll have to look at the pod, logs for that pod. To show you, now I'll go into my Kubernetes cluster, list the applications by selecting the applications menu item, click on the application that I want to get logs for and at the bottom you can see the pods that are running for that application and you can click on the logs icon or button to actually get the logs for that pod. This output here is same as your kubectl logs and the name of the pod command. Let's now have a look at the several options available on this um, container logs page. The auto refresh logs toggle uh, refreshes the logs every five seconds. Uh, so it's basically like streaming those logs to this page. Wrap lines is to wrap a long line to the next line. Uh, so it makes reading easy. And the display timestamps option will add a timestamp to each of those li log lines if your applications does not automatically add them. So if I tick that toggle, it's automatically added here. Uh, in my case, this application does that, so I don't need it. Then we have options to fetch a certain amount of logs. You can get all the logs uh, last day, four hours, one hour and 10 minutes. Um, I can select four hours and display the last four hours, for example. 
um, and search filter is basically to search your logs for um, a certain text I can search for um, error and it will display all the lines that has that word in it and I can also uh, change the number of lines to um, from a hundred which is default to a thousand lines um, and you should get the last thousand lines in here as well and you have several actions available uh, to download the entire logs uh, copy the displayed logs into your uh, clipboard or you can even um, select a specific line or multiple lines and just copy those selected items uh, to your clipboard and you can obviously undo the selection by clicking the unselect so those are the options available to make um, it easy to um, actually get to the um, problem in your logs if you're looking for a problem um, search through the logs and export the logs as you need to um, so having a GUI to uh, view those logs and export them and copy them as you need makes your troubleshooting um, a lot easier so that is all uh, for now um, about the container logs and check out some of our other videos or have a look at our documentation um, links are provided in the description thanks for watching and have a great day